Today we're going to be learning how to identify equal fractions. Now I want to start by talking about pizza. Let's say you looked at a table and saw these pizzas on it, and you wanted to figure out which pizzas have the same amount. Well, you might start by trying to label the amount of each pizza using a fraction. This first pizza, it's been cut into eight total pieces, and we can count that there's one, two, three pieces left. So as a fraction, we'd write that we have three-eighths of a pizza. When we look at the next pizza, it's also been cut into eight pieces, and we can count that there's one, two, three, four, five pieces left. As a fraction, we have five-eighths of this pizza. The next pizza is cut into eight pieces too, and we have three pieces left. So as a fraction, we have three-eighths of a pizza. Finally, this last one is cut into four pieces, and we have three pieces left. So as a fraction, it's three-fourths of a pizza. Now that we've gone through and labeled each of these, we can see that this pizza and this one both represent the same amount. Both of them are three-eighths of a pizza. Now it's important to understand that these two fractions are the same, even though the pizzas look different. This pizza might look different than this one, but both of them are three-eighths. Both of them are equal. Now let's practice finding some of these equal fractions together. Here are a bunch of different fractions that all look a little different, but some of them are equal to each other. To find out which ones are equal, let's start by labeling each model. What fraction does this model show? Well, in this model, there's one, two, three, four, five shaded pieces, and there's a total of eight pieces in the whole shape. So this is the fraction five-eighths. What about this next model? What fraction is this? Well, there's six shaded pieces, and there are a total of nine pieces in the shape. So this is six-ninths. What about this model? This model has five shaded pieces out of a total of eight, so this is five-eighths. Finally, what about this last model? Well, there are five shaded pieces out of a total of eight, so this is five-eighths as well. Now we've gone through and labeled all of these fractions. Can you pick out the ones that are equal? Well, we can see this model, this one, and this one are all five-eighths. So even though they might look different, these three fractions are all equal to each other. Let's try another one of these together. Let's label each of these and determine which ones are equal. Well, this time, I want you to start by labeling these fractions all on your own. This first shape has three shaded pieces out of a total of six. So this is three sixths. The next shape has four shaded pieces out of a total of seven. So it's four sevenths. This next one, it has three shaded pieces out of a total of six, so it's three-sixths. And finally, this last model has three shaded pieces out of a total of seven, so this is three-sevenths. Now that we've labeled these all, pick out which of them are equal. Well, you can see that this shape and this one both show three-sixths, so these two models are equal to each other. Now it's time for you to practice this on your own. Label these fractions and decide which ones are equal. Well, first you start by labeling the fractions. This is one-fourth, this is two-fourths, this is one-fourth, and this is one-fifth. Once you finish labeling the fractions, you can see that this one and this one are both one-fourth, so these two are equal to each other. Now here's your last problem for this video. Label each of these fractions and decide which ones are equal. Just like before, we'll start by labeling each model. This is four-sixths, this is three-fifths, this is three-sixths, and this is four-sixths. Now we can see that these two are equal because both of them show the fraction four-sixths. That's all for today. Now you know how to identify fractions that are equal to each other. Stay tuned for next time.